Thursday 18th of December 2014 or 7.38 and it's windy and we've got all this in view. Here's the well it's good. Okay, Premier in. I love Premier Inns, love the rooms, I love this staff, don't love their wiper, big argument. And the exchange service are pretty rubbish as well. Never mind. Um, <laughs> excellent emergency raw tomato today. Okay, and there's a bull dog here. I think it's over that way somewhere. Since it doesn't open till 12, it's booms to start. Go to Daily Tech News Show. Oh, the cockroaches. It's a festive miracle. And difficult to find. And that was the cranberry juice. Good lime. And there was an ice cube in there. It's just quite mild. I am fatigued. <laughs> Sorry. Hugs is off. Um, turkey trauma, Banks and Taylor, 4.3% on halves, working on the uniques. Smells oozy. Hmm. Nice strong pepper. It's B plus, but mm, not bad at all. He says before he collapses into the table. This is number two, and I'm still on halves. Working on my uniques, etc. This is Quartz Crystal by Quartz Brewery, brewing 4.2% alcohol by volume. Small head. Hmm. Sounds spicy. Not unpleasant. B plus. The Solomon Cutler, which is alloys number one, so there's less relays. However, and the music will probably get me a take down. This is Christmas Cracker. I hope it's Christmas Cracker now, anyways, by Tetley's. And it's 4.2%. And I'm checking like the wind. It is Christmas Cracker. It is, oh, it's 4.3. Who knew? Must be a thing in Birmingham because they ask you for an object or a straight corner. I don't care. I'm not keen. I'm gonna give it a B. It's a bit uh, the Christmas we get now. Anyway, back to this we can Google. And it rains. Carpet, Mr. Manning. Oh, next, Mr. Manning. Keep away from that. This is Peaky Blinder <laughs> by Sadlers. Oh, forgotten the strength again. Because, you know, uh, 4.6. 4.6. It's a black IPA. I'm getting trouble by saying black IPA because it's supposed to be a pale ale. That's more a porter than a black IPA. B plus. Look, Mr. Manning, carpet. And the smell of curries, because it's curry Thursday. Oh, this is, I don't know what it is, to be honest. It's a plum beer from J.W. Lee's, which I think is Manchester Christmas plum pudding, four point. 8% alcohol by volume. Think to carry next time around. Mmm, tastes really plummy. Nice. B plus, but nice. And festive. Hashtag jingle somewhere. Whatever your time zone is. I skipped the curry. Hold on, break, hold on, break, break. That's all you can break, that's too much. 
think you uh, up right in the corner. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Oh, red paint. Because it'll be streamed. Anyway, uniques. Two point seven percent. Who the thought? All day long. Who dog? How to understand hops? Ooh, taste. Wonderful password for the Wi-Fi here as well. Oh, that's an A minus. Highly hoppy, acidic, tingly. Great stuff. Look, Mr. Manning, concrete, cement, concrete, whatever. Anyway. From the USA, Stone Brewing Company. Arrogant bastard, 7.2% alcohol by volume, half pint. Yeah. Ooh, smells so good. I don't know what it tastes so. I'm trying to use the word complex, but B, working for me. I was thinking of Frambois, 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 Raspberry Lambic beer. From, I can't even say it. They did have one bottle, Louis Pepe, which is the high end. You know, we drink Rose of Rambois. 18 quid, and it was the large bottle. Wrong end of the day, I was zapped. Anyway, Cantalon beers, 100% bio. Which means, um, I can't think what it means. You know that thing where it's like um, organic, that's the word. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, it's even better. Hey, definitely. And that's my last. <laughs> 